Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the two-way data binding. In the previous videos, where we have discussed about the one-way data binding, and there we have seen different type of the one-way data binding like HTTP interpolation, property binding, event binding, and attribute binding. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend please watch uh, those previous video where we discuss about the one-way data binding. So two-way data binding is basically it is a communication between the component to the HTML and HTML to the components side. So from both the way we get the uh, we exchange the data. So that is the two-way data binding. But in the one-way data binding, we have only one way of the communication. Now, if we talk about the two-way data binding, so two-way data binding is basically a combination of the property binding and the event binding. It's called the two-way data binding. In a bit, we will see like what is the meaning of the property binding and the event binding. Apart from that, we can get two-way data binding using the ng module. Here you can see this is the, an example of using it with an example that is the ng model. If we want to use to communicate uh, with the ng model, then we have to define the form model in the app.component.app.model.ts uh, file. That also we will see in a bit. So there are the two ways through that we can achieve the two-way data binding. One is the combination of the property binding um, and the event here you can see and another using the ng model. So let's understand both the way using an example. So let's go to the Visual Studio. And here what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one text box and when I will type anything in the text box, it should change the value and we should see that value. So for that one, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take one variable that is the name one and this name one value I'm going to assign as a .NET Office one. So this value I have assigned here. Now let's go here and create a one uh, like text box so in the name and uh, so this is the static text uh, text I put enter name now here what I'm going to do input and inside this input let's take the value that is the property value and assign the which property we have assigned here name one let's copy it and put it here so that is the property we have assigned that is the first way like as we have uh, seen like it is a combination of the property binding and the event binding so property binding we have put like this now we have to attach the event and what is the event like whenever i will type okay at point of that time let's run this and see on the browser so we can see it is currently coming like the value is coming to this one now i want to like if i will enter anything to this one like uh, test so this event i want so this event is basically to write this one. What we have to do is we have to, uh, that event name is input and we have to attach the event. And this event we are going to do name one. And then let's assign like in this uh, value, I'm like in this variable, I'm going to assign that event value. And that is event dot target dot value so this event i have assigned here now next thing is like what i'm going to do i want to like your updated name is so inside this one what i will assign this name one so let's see on the browser what is happening here and we are getting this error let's see what is this it is saying the issue let's see what it is so here we can see like we have to give the input the text we didn't give properly so now let's save it okay still we are getting let's see it is uh, saying the error is basically event or target dot value so let's see why this error is coming so here we can see it is saying object is possibly null so now like in the updated version of the angular we have to uh, say something like if it is null then we have to be handled for that one so for this what we have to do we have to define one value here and that is the any so like it can be any type and then event and this will be the targeted value so now let's save it and we can see now it is compiling successfully like what we have put 
like the any basically now let's go on the browser and see now currently it is the value is uh, dotted of is one and here also it is coming the same now what i will say here now i will take this inside the paragraph and what we will do we will change the color so what will happen we will understand like the value is changing or not and not this full value we will just take this value here what i am going to do i am going to put the style color and let's take it as a red now let's see on the browser so dot net office one it is in uh, color so now what i will say just i will say update and you see this value is opt also updating simultaneously update and new so this is the way like two way data binding it is updating from the uh, uh, like basically from the component side and from the html side so this is the way like using the uh, combination of the property binding and the uh, event binding we can achieve it now next is uh, using the ng model so for accessing using the ng model first what we have to do in the app module.ts here we have to get the form module and for that one like to get the form module let's take import here now it will come from so it will be from angular forms and we have to take form module so this is needed now since it is a module we have to give this value in the import also so this is the one way we have done now next thing to do this one what we have to do is basically we have to uh, like assign this value inside the uh, like in the html side now here what i will do using the form module let's take first hr so we will create in the new line here i'm going to take the input now inside this input i'm going to attach the ng model so this we have attached now the variable which we are having that we will assign here so what i'm going to do i'm going to take another one two and this i am just taking the dot net only so name one is the dot net office one and name two is the dot net now let's save it and here what i'm going to take i'm going to just copy it and put it here so this now let's see what is this error again and what it is saying dot net does not okay so name two we have to take and now it's compiled successfully so this we have defined using the ng model now what we will say just say and uh, copy this part it's using ng model and here i will take name now let's save it and go in the browser so here we can see your updated name is ng model that is dot net now let's update it using the update and here also we can see update so we can see both the end like a two way data binding we can achieve it using the uh, ng model and the combination of the property binding and the event binding so this is the way we use the two way data binding so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you